Hi, this is Mark from Skywagon University, and today, leaving the office, and we're going to grab one of these with Greg in it and fly down to Southern California and pick up a RANS S21 outbound plane. So let's do that. So this is Mark from Skywagon University. Um, just another quick picking up of a plane that we just bought. We just bought this 19, no, uh, 2019 RANS S21 outbound. It's got 150 hours on it, total everything since new. 180 horsepower engine, constant speed prop. Um, we're gonna just bought it. We're gonna pull her out and take it back to Placerville. Good. Downhill. Good. And that chap there, that thing might be for sale pretty soon. So keep an eye on the website. It's a military replica kind of surveillance champ. So we're here at Harris Ranch, beef capital of California, landed at the runway for gas, buying a little, buying some steaks on the way home. So uh, just a little interlude at the service station. That's what I'm talking about. So we bought a couple of rib racks of ribs of beef that I can barely lift here at Harris Ranch. It's a car gas station on the highway Interstate 5 heading north in the Central Valley of California. And then you go through here, and here's the runway. And there's the plane. So you stop in, a couple of ribeyes on ice, and uh, fly them home. Uh-oh. High security. And there's the airport. So let's get loaded up and head back before these things defrost. So without maxing out this uh, Rans S21, we'll just get to load the beef up, and then we'll head home. Useful load, that's what it's for. So here we are in a, uh, a 2019 RANS S21 outbound, all metal, stole bush plane, as you can see, big tires. So we're going to look around it, talk about it a little bit, and then we're going to take it up for a flight. So here she is, a mini little stole bush plane, home built, experimental. Um, as, I, as I said earlier, it's a, it's a 2019, so it's only five years old, 2019 um, S21 outbound. Now, Ranses, Ranses are normally fabric. This is all metal. Every part of it is metal. We'll look around it. Um, 180 horsepower with a constant speed prop on it. So basically the same as the front end of a Mooney M20C. It's got a more paddle type propeller on it. 
um, and it really performs. I mean, in the when you read about them, it says it's it's the competitor for the for the um, the new Super Cubs in its performance. And we'll do some, you know, I'll do a short field takeoff when we fly it. But it's uh, two seat. Basic numbers are two seat. It weighs about eighteen hundred pounds gross weight loaded, and it has about an eight to nine hundred pound useful load. So the the plane. Uh, empty weighs like seven or eight hundred pounds it's very very light it's only certified for 26 inch apparently this used to have 35s on it and the 35s when you went down to 26s it sped it up by about five knots and then coming back from southern california where i picked it up i was doing 138 knots a little bit of a tailwind, but even without the tailwind, it was doing like 120 knots, which for a small, slow, stall bush plane is actually pretty practical because it means you can go places in it and then have fun when you arrive rather than spend four days getting there. So the wingspan is normally 38 feet and ends here. When this one was built, the builder added another 18 inches per side. So it's, it's got uh, 38 39 foot wing so it's actually wider wingspan than a 182 but it'll still fit in a hangar 40 foot hangar still fit in there so um, let's look around it and see the smaller individual components of it and what it how it differs from the earlier Ranzes so home built and it, you get it as a, as a quick build kit pre-drilled holes pre-made skins so it's not where you just get plans and a load of aluminum and have to make it everything comes like pre-drilled for accuracy and so it's an assembly but it's obviously an experimental and it's home built but metal everything metal no fabric on it at all obviously normal ailerons flaps the flaps are 40 degrees and they're here so there will be one two three four a little conventional lever right in the middle of the cockpit the way you'd expect it to be and then metal all metal fuselage big elevator very big elevator and very responsive elevator and very balanced so I'd never flown one and when I flew it up here I landed as you saw at Harris Ranch on the way up small little strip next to the freeway but very predictable and all its control harmonics in every dimension are equal to each other there's no kind of like it's not pitchy but slow in roll even though it's got longer wings it actually is incredibly predictable and if you were going to be starting out in a twitchy little tail dragger and wanted some bush stole fun this would be hard to beat because it does what you want it to do when you want it to do it's not gonna it doesn't have heel brakes and it isn't weird it's very predictable and it's stick throttle conventional so yeah big wide tail a lot of influence there metal everything metal giant tail wheel Look at that thing. If you land it too fast, if you, well, too fast for this would be 40, but that tail wheel will shimmy. So I wheel landed it, but it's not a violent shimmy. You just push forward and get it off the ground, put it back down again. It did shimmy, and they do that when they have a wide footprint. So uh, very good tail wheel for off airport. That would be low ground pressure, um, sand, you know, big tires, sand and, and grass and, you know, gravel strips and stuff that wouldn't dig in and, and uh, cause a lot of drag. And then round here, same. Big tires, double puck brakes. So on each of the brakes, there's two individual single calipers, which work together, of course, whereas some of the Cessnas have the double puck brakes where they have two individual calipers inside each caliper themselves with one line so this is two separate ones but it's just the extra braking because when you've got a large tire like this if your brake disc is this big and your tire is this big the brakes are very very good if your brake disc is this big and your tire is this big the radius is enormous so it reduces it almost to abs so it decelerates you but it doesn't skid and flip you over so very good brakes on it solid aluminum gear legs conventional strut like on a cessna a lot of sort of practical features that cross over between like a, a, a bigger Cessna tail dragger and a, and a cub, to be honest. So a little overview on the outside. Let's go and look at the cockpit. So here's the panel. Lightweight, basic sort of um, VFR kind of experimental, but with a nice touchscreen. It's MGL avionics and an MGL Razor Com, and then a mount for a full-size iPad. You just put it in there and have full flight there. But this thing along the bottom is um, EGT, CHT, oil pressure, oil temperature, RPM, manifold pressure, fuel flow, 
all along the bottom and they stay there. So as you scroll through it, there's like page one, it'll be a, like a PFD and then a map. Page two, all map with some flight instruments in it, but still engine on it. Similar engine, altimeter, here's flight profile, mountains, there's you and like a ground clearance terrain avoidance page. And then if you want to go old school, full gyro panel. So if you want to just look at gyros rather than look at a screen, you can have it on that page. Oops, that was bar barometer. And then back to the first one. And this com, you just touch here and you can adjust squelch and volume. And then you touch here and you can change the frequencies like on anything else. So very simple. Avionics master switch, master switch, ignition, circuit breakers, carb heat, throttle prop mixture, because remember it's constant speed prop, so you've got throttle prop mixture. And brakes on both sides, good brakes, both sides, and wide. I mean, this thing is like, it's wider than the 172, it's nearly as wide as the 182. So, excellent visibility. This is the tubular steel frame that's, uh, that the plane's made of in the cockpit area, and the whole roof and both doors and all of the front, obviously, is clear so it's got incredible visibility almost to the point where i would put a vent in a door so that when it's shut you've got a blast of air these work well but they don't have the speed of air rushing in that you'd think they'd have if the plane's doing over 100 knots so it can get warm in here but if you're up in the idaho backcountry and it isn't warm outside it won't be warm inside so it's actually very well designed and very well laid out and then conventional stick i mean it's weird because if i was in a cub i'd be stick throttle or in the champ but in this it's stick throttle so you think oh left-handed that's difficult well if you think about it in a Cessna or a Piper or a Beach or a Mooney you've got the yoke which would be the edge of the yoke which would be like a stick in your left and your throttles in the right so it actually totally works and if you really don't like it sit over there um, flaps were here we showed you on the outside here's on the inside there's just little detents for each very predictable very effective and then the intercom plug-ins are between the seats. And then the seat adjustment, they do adjust. A lot of experimental planes, you're just stuck with what you got. You lift the base, which frees it from a line of teeth underneath, and it positions up and down like this. And when you put the base down and put the back back, it locks it in, on the teeth that are underneath. So it's very good. And if you were tall and you had it back here, you can hardly reach the brake pedal. So it's, it's got a massive amount of room for the shorter and the longer pilot. I have it back in the middle. Luckily I'm average and I fit all of them. So yeah, very, very nice inside. So uh, enough of the banter. Let's go and see how it flies. Oh, look. Parkerville, experimental 6-3, Bravo Golf is departing runway 2-3, local flight, Placerville. sixes so she's back she's in the hangar we got the beef um, we've done the review it's re it's really surprisingly nice I have to say it's uh, there's a lot of kit planes that aren't and they kind of try and be but just don't make it this is brilliant I would buy this and go to Idaho and camp out of it I'm very impressed and very surprised by it so um, we, we do these reviews on different planes this was the uh, Rans s21 um, Outbound is the name, all metal. 
If you liked it, there's a subscribe button down here and a little bell to click on for notifications. So if you've got an interesting plane that you want us to do a similar type review on, where we interview you as the owner, call me, we'll do it. And also, if you want to be on the podcast where we sit and have a cup of coffee and talk about flying experiences, adventures, maybe near misses, call me on those too. Thanks very much for watching.